Yeah, really got to finish off this VFD. Get all the IGBT bricks out. Rectifiers. All that crap. Get the heat sink out. Because that heat sink's about, I don't know, two and a half feet long. A foot wide. The thing's still too heavy to even trolley. I can't pick it up with my two wheel hand trolley. But, yeah, I'll take all that off. They're one microfarad, 1,200 volt DC, 500 volt AC capacitors. They're nice. <laughs> Those look like single stack IGBT bricks. Maybe a lot of them in there. Probably about 12 or so. Well, there's the boards. They've got nice caps on them. These things here drive the gate and the emitter one there for two, one there. Uh, the IGBT bricks are the same. Yeah, 12 of them. The CM400HA-24E PRX brand Japan. I'm guessing 400 is the amp rating, so when they stack them across the buses, that's a lot of amps. Got big bleed resistors under these packs too ceramic things I think. These are the main rectifiers. Yep. For each phase. And they were all bridged together. I've still got all the bus bars and bridges and plates and things for this. So I can put everything back on the heat sink once I get it out. I just don't want to smash any of these trying to rip this thing apart. It's bloody heavy and I've got to take all these screws out. And pry it off because it's silicon. So we'll see how it goes. Plus I want to reconfigure it anyway if I'm going to use this for a, a uh, rail gun. Not too sure on what the response rate of these is though. Apparently they're a bit slow. So it may or may not work. Uh, I just want to get this thing down to a more compact size because this whole cabinet's just enormous. It's like two and a half mil plate. It's way too heavy. Right, that's all for now. I'll just pull these off and get them into boxes awaiting testing and that'll do. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for much more. A lot, lot ahead of me in the next couple of weeks.